Oh, 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 So we have Jericho here today, uh, Labrador. How old? 13. 13 years old. He's um, really sweet, right? And then introduce yourself. My name is Diana. I've had him since he was four months old, and he is actually a puppy mill puppy. A puppy mill puppy, okay. And what do we know about his health? Um, currently he has arthritis, um, a bit of weakness in the shoulder, but they don't really know if that's arthritis or not. It mm -hmm. just seems that he flares that leg out to kind of like compensate for his and weight. to stabilize. Um, this leg, they don't know why, but he knocks it in and he'll like wobble. Yeah. I was noticing when he was walking, the rear leg wasn't walking right either. No, the not rear at all. right. Not at all. So we have a little partial lameness or, or gait issues in the back end. Um, here, let's have him stand just another minute. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but his back base is wide and splayed out, a little cow hocked. In horses, we would call that a little cow hocked. Um, and, but it's for stabilization. Um, the front is wide base also for stability. So, so holding gravity is a big deal for Jericho because gravity is for all quadrupeds all bipeds, we're all dealing with gravity, but quadrupeds, if they're in pain, or if they're overweight, or if they're aging, uh, they have um, any asymmetry problems, you're gonna have gravity be not your friend because it's pulling you, so you have to choose positions, postural positions, that will at least fight gravity and keep you stable, otherwise, and you'll see in a minute, Jericho will just choose to sit. Um, and that can happen really soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to pull him back and start checking whatever I can and get working because we don't have a lot of time on this one. May I work with you today, Jericho? Here, look at me for one second. Is it okay if I do some stuff with you today? Come back around. All right. I always like to ask permission. And um, do you guys okay if I start working with Jericho a little bit? Okay. So let's try, okay? And he's going to move around because that's what he does. And I'm going to first check the atlas, because the atlas is a powerful part of the nervous system. And he's really tight on the left. So the very first thing I'm going to do, and he can lay down, is I'm going to adjust the atlas. And I'm going to just pull down, because the spacing here, you might be able to feel this day. So you're going to take just your index finger and slide it in here. So you're between the wing of the atlas, which is the top bone, have these little side transverse processes, and the edge of the skull. And then this side's a little tighter. I mean, the left side's a little tighter. So this side's more of a yeah. gap. Yeah, no, I see. And your thumb's wider than your finger. So then this one is a little snugger. Yeah, I feel that. But there. use the same type of finger on both. So if you're going to use index finger, mm -hmm. now go use index finger on this side. No, I feel that. And difference. it's not a big difference, but it's enough. But that's not the only thing I'm feeling. I'm not just feeling for the gap. I'm also feeling for um, the muscle tension on these uh, rectus capitis, posterior rectus capitis muscles and seeing if there is uh, asymmetry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is laterally flex and I'm coming down on the atlas a little bit. Good, got it. And he's gonna get a little parasympathetic response. Some dogs will uh, shake out, but did you notice he yawned? And that's a good thing. So he integrated that already. I'm gonna give him a second because we can't rush older dogs. 
I love in the comments when people leave their dog age. So if he's 13 years old, people leave in the comment. Now there's different formulas. Some formulas is a straight seven years. So it's one year for every year. So 13 years old times seven will give you one number. Other people say, no, there's like 16 years and then 14 years and then you go to seven. Yeah. So I love seeing all the different math. Uh, I'm open to all of it. Um, it doesn't mean, hmm? I've even heard five. And, and you did what? I've heard five years. Five so years. Yeah, so there's, there's, different, um, there's different formulas. So now I'm going to massage a little bit. So I'm, again, I'm at, on the horse, we would call this the pole, which is the Atlanta occipital junction. And you can feel this too, Day. Right in here, it's just tight muscles. May I touch it on your neck so yeah, you sure. can find it? So here, turn just a little bit to the camera. And I'm kind of under here. And do you feel how even you have one? You're just like Jericho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that tight muscle? Yes. So I'm finding that relative to his, it's his neck, right? Yeah. He's a he. And right here, you'll find a similar spot. Now they have a different anatomy than us, so you have to look for it in a different area, but that's the same spot I was kind of with you. Here, let me pull it back. It's right, give me one finger at a time, right in there. Oh yeah. And that's a tight spot. So now I'm gonna do a little therapy on it where I'm gonna jiggle it and hold it. So I'm kind of doing this now. See what I'm doing with my finger on my own arm? But I'm doing it to his neck. And I'm waiting for him to release or change. And so this is good stuff. I can actually do some therapy just with massage work now. He's not complaining. Notice he has kind of a rapid breathing. And that's because his body is a little old, it's arthritic. Um, he's not really in the flow that he would have been when he was three, four, five, six years old. But breathing, there's a lot of things. It's, you know, of course, how a dog cools off. But um, I also look at the heart rate, the breath rate, too, as just something, of one of the many clues that I pick up. I look at the way dogs responding to my touch. I look at the set of the eyes, the set of the ears, if I can see shifts and changes. So right now, he's on a very steady pattern of, Like at that pace, and I'm just looking for relative changes. So, so far, no change. So I'm gonna keep going, okay? But I got this muscle notch release, and if you go back in, you'll feel it's less now. It's right in here. Wow. Yeah, it's less. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so it's nice. We're just taking some stress off. I'm gonna come down, there's more cervicals to check. And he's tight also at the lower left. Got it. Did you hear that click? That was yeah. pretty loud. And again, a lick and a pause, right? So we went from, <laughs> do I do that well? <laughs> Till he went, <laughs> and then back to his rhythm. But the pause is good because it meant that he took that in a little bit. He got the download. So now let me check my work. Okay, that's in. Right side, he has a little one on the lower right too. So now I'm down at C7, T1. Dogs have seven cervicals, we have seven cervicals, giraffes have seven cervicals. Isn't that interesting? Even a giraffe with the longest neck has seven bones in their neck, but they're just taller bones, so they stack up really high. Each bone itself is a tall segment. And I'm gonna now do C7, T1. It's really T1. There it goes. All right. Give him a second to take that in. Can I keep going with you? Can I keep working with you? Okay, thanks. We'll take that as a yes. I, I milked that though. Did you guys notice that I, I try to get that to happen? He loves everyone. I, I do. I try to steal kisses. I have to do. Okay, now I'm down the back. I'm down the thoracics. I'm in the withers area. T3 through T8. And here's a big one here at T6. Oh. What happened there? All right, I'm going to just come over and do it anyway. All right, here we go. Got it. All right, that's it. 
Hey, like, can you pull that chair out carefully from behind her? No, no, let her him get it. And then keep it over by you. So now I'm going to go down your back. That one's in now. Right there. Did you see that one wince? Right there. Can I get that one for you? What do you think? Do you want me to do this one? Yeah, that's why I used it. Okay, he's wagging. All right, so this one is actually slightly left. Sorry. See, it's it's a tender spot. Got it. Wow, I heard that. You heard that too. Yeah. All right. Okay. The tail's going. See it? Keep coming down. So just did a few things. We uh, did lower cervical. We did the atlas. We rubbed out the muscle in the pole. I know it's. I'm thinking horses, but it's such a great name, the pole. Then we did lower cervical left. T1 on the right, which is below the lower cervical. We got T6, we just got T9, slightly left. We're coming down more, and I'm watching the face, and I'm looking for a reaction, and I'm also palpating and feeling what I feel. So here's another one right here. Do you feel that one? You want me to get this one? All right, so now I'm on Oh, 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 You can see him in the camera, right? Okay. That's all right, buddy. He's helping. He's helping. That's so what do you guys think? Is it okay if I adjust that? He's just getting a little bit. Honestly, he's, okay. he talks to us at home. Oh, 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 okay, we're telling you oh, business. Oh, oh. It's okay. He's not hurting you. I promise. Well, guess what? I found a spot. And we're right now at T11 where that he's making him bark. And so let's just ask him if he wants me to work on it or not. Do you want to feel better? Jericho, you want me to get T11 for you? What do you want? Do you want me to do T11? Or should we leave it there? Do you want to try it? Tell me what you think. I think you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. It's up to you guys too. I say go for it because honestly, this is, I think this is a problem spot. Yeah. Because it, I've noticed it's just weak. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know oh. it's going to hurt probably, but that's all right. Oh, oh. Jerry's okay, buddy. He's okay, buddy. Okay, it's okay. Does he bite? Oh, 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 oh. Never been, he's been. Oh. He's never okay. been. Okay. So I'm just going to get it done. Oh, oh. It's okay. Don't no, lay down, Jerry. I can get it this way. This, so this is why we don't pet him. We just let him do it. He's coming to death. No, you gotta finish. You gotta finish. You're doing really well. You gotta finish. You're doing real well. You don't need to be rescued. I got that to sink right in, too. Oh, 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 When he got up, he got up a lot easier. You got it? Okay. A lot easier. You gotta finish. Right, so she said he got up a lot easier. Oh, oh, Look how okay. you're able to hold yourself a lot easier. Right so let's finish up. It's okay. It's great. Not too much. Now you, now you can, if it comes him down. So now I'm at down at the sacrum. I'm going to pull on the acilium. Got it. I'm going to do sacral base posterior. Got it. There's another one here. That one's really tender on that back left that you were telling me about. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, baby. I'm almost done. Got it. I think we're done. I think you felt that one, but that's okay. Let's see if he shakes or does something. You say thank you to you. What do you think? You say thank you. There's the shake. That's what we wanted. All right, are we cool? I think you guys will be fine. Mm -hmm. He's not aggressive, this dog. You see the two spots on his face? Yeah. He's in North Carolina, he got bit by a snake. That's true. 
that's curious over here. Yeah. Curious and adventurous. So, uh, let's see how he does, okay? Feeling all right? That's kind of an interesting adjustment, right? Dave, what do you think? I think so. I think it did really good. I noticed there's a little bit more balance now, and I think that's yeah. awesome. Okay. You gotta make a new friend. What do you think of that? Are we done? Should we end there? You're a good, good guy. Oh, oh, oh. He's just a talker. All right. He's just a talker. All right, so let's finish there. So thank you for watching, everybody. Please leave a comment. Give Jericho some encouragement. And um, Jericho is talking. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you. So what do you think? What did you notice? Um, definitely when you adjusted his hips, he was able to get up a lot quicker, quicker and easier on his own, which hasn't happened in quite some time. So I'm super amazed by that. Yeah. Okay. I'm really happy also. Yeah, he looks happy. I think that was pretty fun. <laughs> Because we can still schedule another appointment for him if you want, right? So much easier. So much easier. Do you want to say bye, Dr. Doug? Mm -hmm. Oh! 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 Oh!